Hey guys, good evening. This is Sabhanav and today we are again live. So as discussed in my last video, so today this video I'm doing is for a ball head gimbal. And uh, can we use this ball head gimbal just to, you know, copy or replicate a gimbal movement? So answer is yes, we can. There are some technicalities involved, which I'll be discussing in this video. So as of now, you can see my setup here. So this is a ball head setup, which is there, right? It's there. Let me loosen it up a bit. Just hold on. That's a Vanguard SPH 100 ball head. And on this, my entire setup is being, you know, mounted. There you go. So that's 200, 500 on a ball head. Now, uh, the second question that I'll be, you know, addressing in this video is how to use this uh, ball head as a tripod. What problems I'm facing, why I switched over to a gimbal. And uh, those are some of the questions that I'll be covering here. So excuse me for some camera shakes that might happen. So this is a ball head. It's a very decent setup, so I can, you know, move my camera left and right, can do all the shots majorly that we'll be targeting at. However, the limitation is that I cannot go up and down, right? So I can go left and right easily. It is pretty much smooth, right? But I cannot go up and down with this ball head tripod. For that to compensate it, yes, I recommend we should use a gimbal. But there is an alternate as well. So that's the reason why we are here in this video. So as you can see, the movement that we can do is like left and right, but we cannot do up and down. So how to do it? I'll just show you. Just wait and watch. There's a small trick which is which we apply, and this is going to help me out. But to do that, let us first note that there is a cavity here. I hope it's visible there. So we have to use this cavity now. How we are going to use it? I'll show you in a moment. So we loosen the ball head. Now see the problem that is key entire system is, you know, getting a bit shaky. I cannot control much. So it's become difficult for me to do a video with it. So what do I do? How to do it? I'll simply lose it. Number one, we'll change the position and we are going to release this collar now. And we are going to take this camera to a 90 degree like this and we have to make this camera fall down here and we lock it so as you can see i've locked my camera now so what happens here i can do left right now and i can do up and down which was not possible previously right so this is how we are using a ball head gimbal see now I can do up and right motion as well. But yes, I have to keep a strong grip over the camera. I have to hold it so that it doesn't fall. Moreover, uh, for balancing part, yes, I have to put the entire weight on one leg of the tripod. Be very, very careful with it. In this case, I'll just let me lock the setup. I'll show you. So we lock the setup now. So in this case, the entire weight of the setup, see it is locked now. I can do up and down anything, but it's there on this leg. So this is the leg which is taking the entire weight of the setup, this one. So once we extend it to full height, the setup might become a bit unstable. So that's the reason we look for a, a let's say a gimbal head, and that's why we use it. So this is a small trick. So just try and apply and let me know if you people are successful in using this trick, this trick, what we mentioned right now. Now coming down to the next part, people have been asking, is it really difficult to, you know, let's say mount a gimbal over this tripod? No, it's not. All you have to do is to just remove the center column, remove three nuts and mount it. I'll show you now, next 15 minutes. Just stay with me online. So this is the technique, I hope, right? works for you all so we loosen the ball head and we go left and right 
and we can do this motion as well for up and down. So it is a stable system. Well, what I recommend is not to use this in this position because you know it is absolutely going out of control. See, so this is unstable system, it might fall here and there. So every time I have to remember the setting of a ball head, I have to lock it. In order to avoid it, yes, I prefer a gimbal. So that's my personal opinion. Otherwise, ball heads are also good to go. So we lock this. Now, okay, coming down to the next part. What setup I'm using? I'll show you. So this is the Benro GH2 gimbal head. In the last video also we showcased. So inside the box, if we... So I tried unpacking, losing, and you know, kept it as it is. So how it came. So this is how it came. And we use basically this part. So the three nuts that I'm referring to are here. If you can see, one, two, and three. I'll keep it separately, right? Then there's a tool which is coming. So this is the Allen key which we require to dismantle these nuts and fix it. So how do you replace this ball head? We are just going to demonstrate live right now. The first question is to, you know, unmount the camera from this entire setup. So let me do it for you. Just give me a minute. So we keep the camera here. Take this camera off. It's easy setup. Just push back, release. The camera is off now. Uh, one thing that you need to notice is different type of base plate is being used. For gimbal head, I'm using this. Whereas for a ball head, the plate is entirely different. So that's the plate for a gimbal. So this is the thing which you have to use, right? So how to dismantle this? In this video, we are going to discuss about it. So I'll take the center column out. Press the button so that it comes out completely. There it goes, right? So these are the three nuts, as you can see one, the second one, the third one. I have already removed it, right? So I'll dismantle it now. How to do it? Just tight it a bit and unloose it. And there it goes. Just give me a second. So basically the thing that we are planning is we have to dismantle this from here and then we have to mount that gimbal on this plate, right? So it's a simple setup. A thing which I need to clarify that do not tighten these nuts first. You have to first mount the gimbal and then only tighten this thing, right? So if any suggestions or something is there for you, some other tip or trick, you're most welcome to, you know, contact me or share with our friends or even you can write it in the comment section below. So this was Abhinav. Thank you for watching my video. Signing off. Thank you.